this is the conclusion to Car Reviews Season 1, The Sanctuary of J. The Sanctuary of J. That is the title for Season 1 of Car Reviews. I'm not quite sure when exactly the first idea to write these types of car reviews came about. I mean, looking back into my files, the first review was recorded around early November 2016, which was shortly after I acquired my current daily driver, Aries, the 2004 Ford Taurus SE Wagon. When I started writing that review, I wasn't really concerned about length of the review, I just wanted to write. Man, my English teachers would be so proud. I've probably written more in the last few months than I ever did during two semesters of high school. They didn't prepare you for the real world in that prison complex, do they? The most fun part about writing these reviews is learning about new words and literature concepts. Oh, and the dry-ass humor, of course. Looking back on some things I wrote, it's amazing how nonchalant some things were explained as. Like, let's quote something from the Saab story. 1998 Saab 900S, the official car for Talladega Super Speedway and the desire to want to purchase a straight jacket for your significant other. Yeah, if, if that isn't an accurate description about that car, then what the hell is? Oh, right. A, a sob story. If you want to know why it's called that, just listen to that review. So for the entirety of Season 1, a total of 11 cars were reviewed, including all 9 cars I've owned, my mother's car and my brother's car. I chose to have Season 1 be called The Sanctuary of Jay for many reasons. For starters, the average 20-year-old doesn't usually own more than one or two cars during their early 20s. I mean, shit. Most people don't even own an average of 12 cars in their entire lifetime, and look Lou, you, sir, are three quarters away from that. Second, the name itself. The Sanctuary of Jay. That expression is more of a sick joke on my first and last name than it is poking fun of religion. I don't follow any particular religion, but I do consider myself a spiritual person, especially through the passion I possess for the love of the automobile. So I decided to write down some collections of thoughts and share my experiences with my nine iterations of people movers. I read the review of my mom's car because at the present moment, that is probably the newest car I can get my hands behind the wheel of. And my brother's car, well, that's only the second car he's ever owned, but don't fret, fellow listeners, there will be a review on the first car he owned, but that won't be until season two. The Sanctuary of Jay is the universe inside my hippocampus with trillions and trillions of terabytes worth of car information that is constantly being refreshed with new content over the course of the last ten years. For almost two years of my life, I was an automotive technician at a small independent shop in Athens, Georgia. While I worked there, I was handed the keys to over several hundred different interpretations of what an automobile can be consisted of, and each car and its owner had all many unique unique assets and perspectives that were basically written into some unknown life diary of people living in a decent-sized college town. Hmm, yes, and every time I went out for a test ride in any of these cars, I'd whip out that smartphone and record little 10-second clips on some yellow fellow app that has some cheesy ass ghost proudly serving as its mascot. I'm sure if my boss or coworker knew about that back then, they would probably have frowned upon that, but hey, what they don't know won't hurt them. The idea of recording a small group of thoughts about car engineering and the zany ownership that some of these machines endure through has always been just some afterthought in my head, but it's a great way to understanding the perspective one might have when you work on these things on a routine basis. Like with anything in life, you begin to understand your inherent oculism when you write down past experiences of cars that only fill the minds of tiny brain cells located in my parietal lobe, and when you listen to other human beings spew out more talking points than Rush Limbaugh seems to accumulate from some alt-right mu inside sources, you think to yourself, hey, if they can do that, what's stopping me from doing that too? Huh, <sighs> procrastination, that's what's stopping any person from experiencing Jowska. That conversation you compulsively play out with yourself inside your head. <sighs> Jowska, I need a beer after thinking about all the ways to tell an oriental person that I'm moving in. My former co-workers have no patience or desire to work on their Japanese slush box. Yeah, not sure where all those people are now, or even if they'll listen to this nonsensical English-spoken conclusion to a joke about all things traditional in the United States. I mean, they wouldn't even be able to stomach through 20 25% of the comments made in this first season of Car Reviews Gone Amok. As I'm sitting here at home base, eating a Marie Callender's chicken corn chowder pot pie, I reminisce about my time spent working on people's only means of transportation, and I, I miss it. I miss the two-bay garage out front, and the two-bay garage on the opposite side, and the friendly, how's it going, boss, from the gas station clerk next door anytime I needed some ulterior form of hydration after a long day of buyer's checks. I miss the locals, which made up almost half of our entire clientele, and their cheerful smiles as they walked into the lobby to pick up their daily drivers after having routine maintenance completed. I miss the careless mistakes made, like not having the oil bucket emptied out after seven oil changes, resulting in a mess made cleaned up by Sintas Shut 
towels and kitty litter. I miss the casual conversations of customers as I drove over to their humble abodes and listening to little snippets of human history that makes up Athens, Georgia in its entirety. I miss the unorthodox routine of a large vanilla iced coffee and chicken biscuit every morning from Chick-fil-A, which helped get my mornings up and ready to tackle projects like a timing belt or a power steering rack. I miss the tall tale fables of crazies appearing when the full moon comes out and the realization of just how batshit psychotic people can be when that gray sphere of space rock enters our vision at night. I miss the stories of a man who spent nine years in prison all for some bizarre misunderstanding of the justice system and his quest to get his life back in order after experiencing the equivalent of Dante's Inferno for a decade of his life. But if there's one thing that I miss out of the thousands of memories made working at that small shop, it's the happiness I felt after touching people's lives in a way that they can go home and sleep well at night knowing that three bright individuals bearing similar names helped make their lives easier to bear with because if there is anything in life that goes astray, at least those people's means of transportation have been looked over through and through so that they don't have any unnecessary grievances popping up as they continue their life journey. I'll never forget the countless thank yous I received from strangers whose only knowledge of their cars was to put gas into it and drive around. The facial expressions that one makes after hearing good news about their econo box, or the satisfaction of doing good, honest mechanic work, and how much appreciation a person feels knowing that an intelligent mind helped guide them in the right direction. Cars and the people that drive them offer so much insight into the little things in life that make the bigger picture so much more able to grasp. It's not so much about the destination as it is about the journey, and the journey taken by the man writing about the Sanctuary of Jay has been one filled with emotions ranging from all directions of the life spectrum. I hope everybody that listens to these reviews feels some of those emotions because that is the greatest gift given to humans from the universe. Here is the season one, the Sanctuary of Jay. We will start shortly on season two. We ended up in Texas in the next few months. Thank you for listening. See you guys soon and have a blessed, fantastic day. Love, Mr. Car Review. The end.